Today we're going to be revisiting an older video to see what sold, what I made a profit on, and what I probably could have left on the shelf. We are in Thurmont, Maryland today. We're finally back in Maryland, sitting outside the Goodwill. Um, the parking lot is empty. I actually pulled in and I'm like, are they closed? No, they're not. They're not closed. They're open. But the parking lot is empty, which is crazy. But we're gonna head in here and see what we can find to buy and sell for a profit. So here we go. I'm really excited today because it's been about three weeks since I was here last, which means a lot of this is gonna be fresh. This is 249. This is um, Talavera, Mexico. And I just love Talavera, Mexico because it's so colorful and fun. So we're gonna grab that. This looks neat. Is that what is it I'm so confused it kind of looks like a shaker but there's no holes on it there's a there's two of them <laughs> that's so weird there's definitely pepper residue oh I see this I see it now okay salt and pepper shakers they look like they're quality made so I'll pick them up I guess we'll figure them out later what else is there? This cutie. <laughs> He's made from a gourd, I think. That's cute. 249. The bottom has a crack in it, but 249. Pick that up. Oh, hi there. Oh no, it has a broken ear. That's gorgeous, but I can't do it with a broken ear. I'm gonna have to pass on it. I like this uh Dragonfly. There's no markings on it. It's neat though, 249. I'm surprised there's no markings on that. I'm gonna stick that in here. Dragonflies do well for me. I think a lot of people like dragonflies. Those are fancy plates, aren't they? Who makes those? There's a pair of them. Frosted Edge. A lot of you had suggested how to get the um, grease pen off of the frost glass. I don't know, those seem kind of fancy to me. Maybe I'll give those a shot. There's a pair of them. I only see two. A set of uh, coasters with different birds on them. They're all frosted birds. They seem to be decent quality. Nice and polished. 150 each on the coasters. I think I'll take those, maybe. One handed. I'm going to try. Oh wait, they're signed. Time out. <laughs> Let's see what the signature is. Signed on the edge. VSL. I believe Val St. Lambert. That's probably what they stand for. Alright, let's grab them. That's kind of pretty. M Studios. And this frost thing. I think it was originally painted. All the paint is worn off of it. And pink. Lore Pastel. $5.49. I usually find this chipped. Obviously this one is not. <laughs> and I do like the pink, so I'm a little bit tempted. It's hiding underneath something. The Lurie Pastel. Alrighty. I think we're gonna move on to the next Goodwill. Well, the shelves are stocked today, aren't they? Ooh, look at all the little guys. Oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Oh my lord. Clear the shelf. Holy smokes. Oh my gosh, are these all Hagen Anikers? All of these miniatures, $1.50. I can't even right now. 
Oh my god, I need all of them. I need all of them. Yes, please. What is, what is this even? Oh, that's the spilled milk that goes with the kittens. Where are the kittens? There's the kittens. Yeah, these are hidden renegades. Heck yes. So it's like at least 10 bucks a piece, at least 10 bucks a piece, depending on the Hagen Renner Curtis. And you know what? If they had the little like goblin guys, the goblin guys are worth a ton of money. I'm just going to grab all of these. I need something to put them in. I believe that just happened, but I totally just snatched them all off the shelf like nobody's business because I will take Hagen Renner any day and I will take them all. <laughs> There's some things I'm like, I'll leave a few on the shelf. But this time, I snatched them all. I grabbed all the Hagen Renekers. That was amazing. That, that was just so amazing. I can't even right now. I'm gonna go through a moment and then we'll continue. We're just gonna move on this way. Check out this adorable little shell creature. She's cute. She doesn't have a price, but guess what? Here in Maryland, they'll price her for me because they're just that wonderful. Look at this dollhouse furniture. <laughs> that is so fun. Gosh, there's a ton of it. This set is really cute. $12.49 on that. See, I like that set. I've never bought and sold dollhouse furniture, but there's always a first for everything. Maybe I'll grab that. You gotta check out the wood. Seahorse. That's probably Green Mountain Manufacturing, maybe. That's kind of what it looks like. How much was it? No price. No price. Probably because of the texture, I imagine. Maybe the price fell off of it. All right. Um, oh, there's two. Look. $2.49. Just see two, though. Grab those. I gotta come up with a solution. Oh, look. I didn't realize this cow is broken. I don't know. I was I was, thought to myself, you know what? I'll even pick up the broken ones because I can do giveaways. But that's pretty pretty darn broken. All right, there we go. So many Hagen Renekers that I had to go back and get another llama. I felt like I went on an Easter egg hunt. <laughs> the the young gentleman at the counter was so very careful. He tucked Goodwill bags in between every layer, so they're going to get home nice and safe. And that was awesome. That made my day. It was a rough day at the Goodwills, but this made my day. My total spend was $126, and I am so stoked for those Hagen Renegers. I know the horses can be really good. I was a little disappointed we didn't find any of those little gremlin creatures, because I know those are really good, but who knows? Maybe we've got a winner in there with the horses. Um, and I know on average, they're worth about eight to 12 bucks a piece on average and then some are worth more than others but that was amazing that was amazing that made my day so i'm gonna get out of here now i got an hour and 20 minutes home and tonight we are interviewing a potential nanny for the kids and i'm i'm excited i'm excited it took it took a while but we will see all right i will see all of you tomorrow If you enjoyed this video, we will be posting videos just like this every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So make sure you stay tuned, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I have included a link to the playlist down in the description.